Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I've dug out the old X220 for the next part uh, in this little series that I've got. Now this particular episode could be really done on any of the ThinkPad line that has the express card slot but the X220, particularly the i5 model, is getting this treatment because of what it lacks and what it lacks is USB 3.0. Those of you in the know will know that if it is an i7, they do come with a single USB 3.0 port, but if not, then you're pretty much left out. Now, that's where the express card slot can come in. So I went to Amazon and I picked probably the sketchiest USB 3.0 option that was out there. And those of you that understand how, you know, power works in a laptop will understand immediately why. Uh, this is potentially sketchy, other than the fact that the ports don't necessarily look like they're all actually in line with one another. But that's beside the point. Um, this is a express card USB uh, 3, 3 port card that goes in there and is supposed to give your laptop the capability of higher transfer speeds than USB 2. You'll notice that some of the more reputable companies like StarTech will not make this. Um, they'll make a to USB 3.0 with a middle, essentially barrel plug, so you can use power from a USB 2.0 to give this the additional uh, juice that it needs. So I was already a bit suspicious about this, but it's like, hey, three is better, right? So I went and I bought it. There's one thing that I'll tell you about this card right away is it gets hot. Uh, it's constantly drawing power when it's in there. So if you are planning on buying one of these, don't leave it in there. That's just not a good idea. There have been rumors, although I haven't seen it myself, that it can actually crack this part of the palm rest due to heat, but uh, I don't know if I believe that entirely. Let's go ahead and see what we actually get. So this card came with a really small driver CD. I have no idea where it even went anymore. Um, it's not really required under Linux or Windows. You stick the card in and you Press it until you hear the click, and then it's going to start getting nice and warm, I'm sure of it. So I've got a whole bunch of USB uh, peripherals here that we're going to start plugging in. Uh, the very first one, though, will be a transfer speed test. So I have a USB 3 uh, thumb drive, and I'm going to go ahead and jam this in the central USB slot. There we go. Okay, that's a good sign, it's detected it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna transfer some data and see what speeds we get. So we've go ahead and set up a file transfer here of a 400 megabyte video to the drive. And it actually looks quite promising when we're not overwriting data. And it clocks in at around 40, approximately 40 megabytes a second. We'll take that out of the USB 3.0 drive. We'll put it in a USB 2.0 slot. So it's about 10 megabytes per second faster. So it's definitely not going at the full tilt that it should be. But oh well, what can you do? Now whether or not that's because there's three ports there and it's distributing the speed amongst them or if it's just that express card lane not being able to push out everything that it was able to do. Um, now the other problem that you'll find with three is that there's really no point because you can't possibly actually fit all of your drives in there. I did hear a rumor that if you uh, load this up with too many drives it'll just straight up stop working and I don't know about that it's detecting these two drives just fine with no issue and nothing is going in or out. So I am going to eject this drive and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can hook up my portable optical drive here, which does have two times, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's just, that's not going to work. <laughs> so just because you have three USB ports doesn't mean you're actually going to get three. And I think that's really the take home message here is that you can't do it. You, you just, you just can't. Um, 
yeah, it, it ejected it. Yeah, that's already pretty warm. <laughs> All right, so here's, here's my conclusion for this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you're buying this, understand you're not using all three at once, which pretty much means that this thing is almost exclusively pointless. Um, stick with the one that's got two, uh, with the middle one that's got the barrel plug to give you that additional power so you can actually get decent transfer speeds. Um, is it still handy for the extra USB ports? Sure, I guess. Um, it gives you two at slightly higher transfer speeds, but it's not going to be everything in a bag of potato chips. Stick with real potato chips, guys. All right, if you enjoyed this sort of content, please uh, feel free to do the big four. Please like the video, uh, share it, subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell. It's uh, quite frankly, the, the little income that I get for the channel is what allows me to make purchases like this that I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna go okay and uh, know that, you know, it's okay. You know, you've got supporters, uh, there's revenue there. Uh, so thank you very much. And yeah, I will see you next time.